PMAC Movies. He's back, baby. Oh, shit. Turn this off. Um, PMAC Movies back for a brand new PMAC Movies haul video. Good morning. It is Friday. It feels like a Saturday because I have today off. I was going to say it was Saturday, but I actually would have been mistaken. Um, snowing a little bit outside. Nice wintry day. I don't have to go anywhere. Um, so I can just stay home, relax, and watch watch the snow. It's not snowing too much. But we got a cup of uh, organic Guatemalan coffee with some local maple syrup um, for a sweetener. And um, I've been using some organic creamer lately. I stopped that though because I think it might be messing me up a little bit. So kick back, relax, drink a little coffee with old PMAC, eat a snack, drink your favorite beverage, whatever it may be, and let's take a look at what I hoarded on this week. We're not in a hurry. We're going to kick back, relax, and enjoy the morning. I'm bored already, PMAC. Well, tough shit. Um, I got a probiotic here I'm going to take and with my coffee. It's still a little bit hot. Um, all right, let's take a look at what old PMAC got here while I take the rest of my supplements. And I did get a couple new releases or recent releases. At least one was a pre-order. Um, one that I was like, you know, it, it, it's already come out on Blu-ray. I wasn't necessarily going to get it, but it was only 20 bucks and it's like a two disc limited edition with slip cover. And it's a movie that I don't know if I would say I like it. I think it's interesting. And probably has some deeper levels to it. All right, done with the supplements now. Okay. I was gonna I was gonna take the supplements before I made this video, but my coffee was still too hot, so I was gonna be like burning my mouth. Anywho, let's take a look. Let's get right into the brand new, brand new release, which I believe Amazon. Maybe they just didn't get a lot of them at first because I ordered it. I pre-ordered it and I think it might have came out like several weeks ago, but I didn't get it until at some point this week. I can't remember if it was, it was Wednesday, I think is when I got a lot of these orders. Um, the pills aren't quite going down. They're sitting there. It feels like they're sitting in there, but, um, yeah, I'm, a I'm actually pretty happy to get this one because it's a movie that, um, it's weird. I like to have, I definitely like to own weird movies to kind of go back and, and watch them again. And it is Southland Tales here, which is the two disc limited edition. And I, I didn't get a deal on this or anything, you know, it was, it was 20 bucks, which I thought was a pretty good price for a new release. Um, Arrow video limited edition with slip cover. It is a movie, you know, it's it's definitely got some star power. It's got uh, The Rock in it. It's got Sean William Scott, Sarah Michelle Gellar. Uh, man, there's a lot of people in this. Holy cow. And I remember uh, Justin Timberlake is also in it. Kevin Smith. I don't even remember him being in it. But it's directed by um, the director of Donnie Darko, Richard Kelly. Who, you know, Donnie Darko also got an Arrow release and it has, I believe it has a 4K Arrow release here coming out. Donnie Darko is a great movie. I don't, I'm not going to get the 4K of it. I have like a three or four disc Arrow edition of it. Which, I, you know, Donnie Darko to me is a lot better movie than this. But I, I'm, I'm not sh totally sure I took all this movie in. And I've, I've seen it. I'm thinking I've seen it twice, um, but you know, as you kind of, as you change, as you, as you age and you grow wiser, maybe you notice more in movies. Maybe your, maybe your, some of the pieces in this that didn't fit together will fit together better. I don't know. 
Um, it has it's a two disc set. It has the theatrical version, which is 145 minutes, and the um, cans cut, I think it's called, which is 158 minutes. And um, you know, I think I think that this is a movie worth owning at least to me, because it is, like what I said about it earlier, it's a weird movie, it's a movie that you do have to kind of um, study to some degree, really look into it, and, um, you know, I like that it has a really nice edition with slipcover. I mean, Arrow announced this years ago, I feel like, and I've been, are they, I was thinking, are they gonna, are they gonna release Southland Tales, or did something happen with that? So the previous release was a Sony one, which I think I got at Big Lots. And um, this is supposed to have better picture quality. I've heard there might be some issues with the sound possibly on this. So I'll have to take a look at that. And I believe this has some um, a bunch of special features. It says limited edition collector's booklet. So this is a really nice edition. And I believe it's still on bestbuy.com for 20 bucks. So if you're interested in this limited edition, you probably want to go ahead and grab it. I don't know that it's going to end up being much cheaper than $20 for limited edition. If you want to wait, um, you'll probably be able to grab like a standard edition for cheaper in the future. But definitely one I wanted that edition of it. Um, let's see. I forget what goes together here. I got... I think this was a pre-order. It's a pretty new release, I believe. Maybe it's not. Maybe this one This one actually came out in 2000. I was thinking this was a new release for some reason. Huh. Anyways, it is from Scream Factory, The Ambulance here from 1990. It is 96 minutes starring Eric Roberts, James Earl Jones... And uh, Eric Braden, directed by Larry Cohen. So I I heard some other people talking about this, and it sounded pretty good. So I went ahead and snagged that one up. The Ambulance, again, not super cheap. I think with the buy two, get one, it was like 15 after tax. Coffee. Guatemalan, just organic Guatemalan coffee. It's just It's just delicious. Um, we actually ran out recently, and I was drinking some other coffees, but they're just not as good. Um, let's see. Other ones from Target. Let's stick with Target. I got The Freshman here, starring uh, Matthew Broderick and uh, what's-his-face there, Marlon Brando, with the VHS Slippy. I've never owned this movie, and I don't believe I've ever seen it. It's possible that I came across it on like cable or HBO or something, but I don't remember ever seeing this one. Um, but it was nine bucks, buy two, get one. So it was about six bucks, and I think it just came out here recently. Um, Frank Whaley's also in this. Directed, Written and directed by Andrew Bergman. I have no idea who that is, but uh, read pretty decent things about the movie. As far as the transfer, it's supposed to actually be really, really bad. Um, but I figured, you know, if I if I had the DVD of it, I probably wouldn't have got this because it does. I mean, it's probably I would think it's better than the DVD, but it sounds like it's more so like DVD quality on Blu-ray. But it does have the nice slipcover, and I don't own it at all, so I figured I would go ahead and snag that baby up. Another one that I got, which is another Scream Factory, a Hammer movie. I like to get these. The seven are the legend of the seven golden vampires. It's like we got some some martial arts mixed with fighting vampires from 1974, 89 minutes. Read good things about it. Um, it does star Peter Cushing. I like to get all his movies, and uh, I've never seen it, but I read pretty good things. I read it's actually a pretty entertaining movie. It does have. Kind of some nice discard there with the orange in the background. And reverse artwork. No slip cover. That reverse artwork, ooh, that's pretty nice. That might be better than the front artwork there. I might have to reverse that sucker. So that one, that one I think was 16 or 17 bucks after the buy two get one. So still... 
Still a bit spendy, baby. Um, up next, this one was a little bit cheaper. It is Violent Professionals. This is a Code Red release put out by Sergio Martino, which I believe Arrow's released a few Sergio Martino movies, and I've enjoyed them to some degree. Um, I tend to like these kind these kind of Italian movies. They're pretty fun. This one being more of a, it looks like more of an action-y or crime type of movie versus like a, a Giallo, which I think my, the other Sergio Martino movies I've watched are, are Giallos, I believe. 101 Minutes from Code Red. I believe this was about 16 and change before the buy two get one. So it ended up being a pretty good price, 11, 11 ish maybe, something like that. So that looked like a cool one. And then a Criterion. I, I don't tend to like war movies. Um, just not a huge fan. But I've heard such good things about this movie. I wanted to go ahead and snag it. And it, part of it was it was a really good price because it was like 23 before the buy two get one. And it is Come and See Here on Blu-ray. 142 minutes, 1985. It sounds like kind of a a depressing look at, at war, like kind of a brutal, depressing look at war. I don't know a ton about it, but I, I just read some great reviews of it that said it was fantastic, so I did want to own it at that price. You're never going to be able to get it cheaper than that, baby. Um, I mean, that's that's it, it ends up being 15 or 16 bucks, um, and, you know, with the red card 5% off and everything, that's several dollars less than um, Barnes & Noble. Even if you had the the Barnes & Noble discount card, it would still be cheaper buying it from this sale. And that is for a fair amount of Criterions, actually. Um, did I get any more from Target? Yes, I did. I got this Scream Factory movie. This is an IFC Films release. Um, part of the reason I got it is because Dan Stevens is in it. I like Dan Stevens. It is The Rental here on Blu-ray. I actually popped this in last weekend. Um, I, I just wasn't in the mood to watch it, so I didn't I didn't end up watching much of it. I don't think I was in the mood to watch anything. I just kind of... Um, but it's 88 minutes, directed by Dave Franco, um, and it got pretty good reviews and stuff, so I decided to go ahead and get it because it was a pretty good price. It was $15, buy two, get one, so it ends up being 10 bucks. And I can do that. And it's funny, this, this girl here, I was just watching the... Um, what is that show with the train? Snowpiercer. I was watching Snowpiercer, and she's in that, and I don't remember ever seeing this actress. And then I watched this. I was like, is that the same girl from Snowpiercer? And it, and I looked it up, and it was. It must be this Sheila Vand. Um. So this this looks like kind of a a decent horror movie. I'll read the back if. You know, you probably don't know what's going on with this because it just came out 2020. Um, two couples on a, an oceanside getaway find that their celebratory weekend trip has turned into something sinister as an imminent threat forces them to expose well-kept secrets. And they come to uh, see each other in a whole new light. Allison Bree, Dan Stevens, Jeremy Allen White, and Sheila Vand star in this unnerving and sophisticated debut thriller. Debut thriller. From Dave Franco. So pretty good one. I might, I might try to watch that one again today. I have a few. I, I have a few of these. I might. Um, I'm thinking about popping in. That might not be my first choice though. After kind of looking at these again, I think. Um, I think I might. I think I need to watch a little, some British, some British stuff starring Michael Caine. I'm spilling coffee all over. Speed it up, PMAC. We want to see the hall. We don't give a shit about your coffee. How dare you? You respect this coffee. Coffee. It's pretty tasty. Um, up next, I did watch a few of these, actually, including Street Fighter. So Street Fighter, this version of Street Fighter is actually pretty entertaining, and it focuses on the training of uh, Ryu and Ken. The only characters I recall from the um, the games are Ry Ryu, Ken, and Akuma. Akuma's also in this. So th there's a uh, Master Goken is in this. I don't know if he was ever in the video games. I you know 
I don't recall like from the Genesis ones, but I never got into really like the newer ones, so I don't know if he was in those or not. But it's it's basically out in um the wilderness in Japan and they're training and um and I, I don't want to give too much away, so I'll just leave it at that. But it's two uh, two and a half hours, but it seemed like it goes by pretty quick. And last night me and uh Charmy were watching it and I think I fell asleep like right towards the end. So I have to um Go back and finish this. I think it left off at like kind of a cliffhanger though. Hmm. Interesting. Um, let's see if there's anything else from Target. I also have some Hamilton book stuff here. So I got some cool stuff. I got some pretty cool stuff here. Um, so we'll take a look at Hamilton book in a little bit. But let's take a look at what I got from Amazon. Some buy two, get one from them. First in the $11 range, this one was kind of the, eh, don't really necessarily want it at that price, but it's good enough. It is Greta here, um, starring Isabel Huppert, which I don't really know her well, and, and Chloe Grace Moretz, um, which I think, it looks like the woman is giving the girl a hard time. Directed by Neil Jordan, so it's it, is it kind of like a weird stalkery type thing between the woman and the girl or something like that. Um, reviews were pretty mixed, not that great. Sounded like it would be something that's pretty entertaining. Um, this is from 2018, an hour and 39 minutes. It is a focus. I remember when, when DVDs were out and I would see a Focus Features movie, and I'd be like, well, that's, you know, because a lot of them were like artsy and really good. I feel like they've kind of went outside of that, though, where they do more, um, and maybe the quality, like, focus features. If I see focus features, it doesn't necessarily jump in my mind that, oh, I, I want to have that movie because it's, it's focus features, whereas it used to be something like that because I used to enjoy, like, all of their movies. Um, but, yeah, this, I, this one's a little bit damaged there. So s something happened to it. And then the back got dinged up a little bit too so I might get a replacement for that I don't know it's it's it goes into the artwork and it's almost like a puncture but uh looks like a fun one I I since saw actually that you could get this cheaper I think it was like six bucks or maybe seven um what is that site called Grove Grove has a bunch of like somewhat recent universal movies that haven't really went cheap and they have them for like six or seven bucks so that would be a little bit cheaper than i got this for um at the same time a lot of those things a lot of like this type of movie they end up being at like hamilton book big lot stuff like that so it'll probably be cheaper speaking of universal i recently saw that in the horror people's horror box they were getting the unsane blu-ray which I've been like wanting that movie. It's just I've never seen that movie cheap, and um, so I was really hoping to be able to get that. But I don't get the horror box. Uh, I think uh, horror pack or whatever it's called, horror pack. And usually they just they they'll have like their horror pack exclusive, and then they have a bunch of like horror movies that have been it cheap places like Dollar Tree or Big Lots or Hamilton Book. But this Unsane, I've never seen it cheap before. And it had the slip cover and I was like, oh my God, I want that. But what can you do? Maybe it'll maybe it'll end up at Big Lots or maybe it'll end up at Hamilton Book. I hope because I do want that movie. But anyway, the other two that I got at the eleven dollar price range uh were a couple from this really good director, um Bong Joon Ho, who I believe he did the uh the Snowpiercer movie and um, Parasite, I believe he did also. Um, so I got Mother here, where this woman, um, I think her son's accused of murder and she ends up like trying to figure out what's really going on or something. Um, it's 129 minutes from 2009. It sounded, it sounded pretty interesting, like kind of a, like a detective sort of thing. And then I do have this on DVD. I got it really cheap from Goodwill. But I decided I wanted to go ahead and get the Blu-ray of this. Um, the Host. So these both ended up being around 7 8 bucks. Um, 
So I decided to get them. These are Magnolia releases, which you see a lot of Magnolia releases at Dollar Tree. But um, I would say these would probably be some of the upper barrel Magnolia releases. So I don't think we'll see those at Dollar Tree. Up next. Um, the $15 price point. I got this Scream Factory double feature. This was kind of the, eh, don't necessarily abs absolutely have to have it, but I, you know, I needed another $15 one. The Night of the Sorcerers and Laura Lee's Grasp. The Laura Lee's Grasp, does that say? Um, I read it was, it sounded good enough. Um, it's on one disc, and a lot of times these these go out of print, and then the prices go up too. So, but look at the I don't know what the heck happened. It's all I hate when this this happens a lot with Scream Factory ones where it gets like the wrinkle shit on the side. I don't know. Anywho, another double feature. Uh, I think this one was maybe a little bit cheaper than fifteen. This might have been fourteen. Action-packed double feature. A couple Peter Fonda action movies. They look kind of like grindhouse-y type of movies. I read some reviews. Sounded pretty good. So I figured for around 10 bucks, this was a pretty cool uh, two-pack to get. Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry, and Race with the Devil. Race with the Devil, it sounded like, was more highly regarded than Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry. But they they sound like fun ones. Um, when was this? I don't know when this Blu-ray was, was released, but uh, I saw somebody else had got it on the message boards, and I looked into it, and it sounded like a fun one. It is also two on the same disc. That's how a lot of these, these uh, Shout double features are. So that's a Shout Factory double feature. And then another one, this was 14 or 15, and buy two, get one. It is another Peter Cushing movie, Island of Terror, which originally when I saw it, I'm like, eh, that doesn't look like something I'd be interested in. But then I read some reviews on it, and it sounded really good. So I decided to snag it. From 1966, Peter Cushing, 87 Minutes. And again, it's a it's a Scream Factory for it was about ten bucks. It ended up being so I snaggied, and then this one was actually with uh, some of the stuff I showed off last week. But th this one shipped out a little bit later. Glad to get this one. We got some more Michael Caine. I got a lot of Michael Caine movies that I haven't watched, but this one I might be watching today. It is Get Carter. I have some of his on DVD, too, and I was looking to see if I had this one on DVD. I do not believe that I do. So, glad to get this. Again, it was around 15 so it ended up being 10 bucks after the deal. 112 minutes. Um, it's a movie that, like, I, I had heard of and heard about, but uh, I, I never really had access to it for a good price, and I, and I found it and snagged it up from 1971. Looks like the Blu-rays from 2014. And I did read that there were some issues in the beginning of this um, where they, like, dubbed in a voice in the beginning of it. And I don't know if it's, like, it sounded like for the U.K. ones they corrected it. But for the U.S. ones, it was sounding like they didn't correct it. And sometimes you'll see, like, a, it'll say, like, a V2 on the back if you take a look down here and look if they reissued the disc. But I don't. I don't really see anything like that. I see it says point two, so it, I mean it's possible. I don't know, but uh, it sounds like it's just for like a brief scene where the issue might be. And then I do have I have a, a couple Warner Herzog DVD box sets, but um, none of them on Blu-ray, and. This was a really good deal. This ended up being like $41 or something from uh, Amazon US, but it's shipped from Amazon UK. It is the Warner Herzog collection, which isn't the, the nicest set as far as packaging. As a matter of fact, mine's 
I actually like tore there a little bit and there it's a little beat up. It's got, it's, it's, it's kind of, it, but it's a, it's a flimsy, honestly, it's a flimsy package, but the discs were all in place and they look fine. There's 18 movies. There's a booklet. And this, this actually doesn't have all of the movies from the Shout Factory release, from, from the U.S. Shout Factory release, which is like 100 bucks, 90 or 100 bucks. And it has, um, I don't know if it has more movies. I think it might actually have less movies, the Shout Factory one, but it has some, some that this one doesn't. So this one must have some that that doesn't. However, some of the transfers in this BFI release are superior to the more expensive Shout Factory release. So if you are Region B, this seems to make the most sense because it has, um, better transfers it's really a flimsy package though they really I, I don't it's like do they really think this is going to hold up in shipping it's just a flimsy cardboard box um and i haven't i've, I've only watched a few warner herzog movies like uh you know aguire wrath of god um I don't. I don't even. Feel, I don't know if there's even any like spoken dialogue in that movie. I don't. I don't remember. Um, it, there probably is, but it, a lot of it's just kind of observing and and uh, it's it's different. It's definitely different. But it, it's been years since I've seen it though, so I can't really say much about it. Um. Then we just got Hamilton book. I think. A little coffee left. Put the coffee down, P Mac. You're boring the f out of me. Um, I did watch a couple of these, and I have some high recommendations from these Hamilton book items, and they're cheap. They're well, I mean, they're affordable. First, you might be the killer, which is apparently out of print. This is a screen media Blu-ray. Um, I heard that it's out of print. It's eight. I believe it's eight dollars on Hamilton Book. And if you enjoy, um, I don't know, classic horror movies, even you know modern horror movies, classic horror movies, it's a good combination of both. It plays on the you know camp, uh, camp slasher sort of thing and i thought it was a really fun one i thought it was clever it has um a couple old joss whedon favorites fran crans fran fran crans um i believe he was in dollhouse joss whedon's dollhouse and then allison hannigan of course from uh, buffy the vampire slayer a couple old joss whedon actors i don't i don't know that he had anything to do with this movie i don't see his name anywhere on there but they're both you know they're good too fran kranz plays really like the main role and um like i said it's a play on camp camp movies and i don't really want to give anything away camp slasher movies it's a nice fun twisty take on them it's something different so um, if you if you like horror movies, if you like slashers, definitely one that I recommend. I, I really enjoyed it. I had fun with it. And then another one that while n you wouldn't consider this like a great movie, like the Criterion Collection wouldn't want to get a hold of this, but man, there are some fun, interesting ideas in this one. It is Scott Adkins in Abduction. I believe this was six dollars which is really a great price because if you look around online you're not going to be able to get this for less than like 17 bucks anywhere else from what i saw is the acting top notch no you got a bunch of like you got scott adkins and like a bunch of asian actors and the acting isn't great um the acting definitely isn't great but that's not why you're watching this movie this is a really fun sci-fi action movie. It actually blew me away with with some like some of the cool ideas with the the sci-fi aspect of it. Um, there's, you know, if you look at the movie, um, 
I always forget the title. The sequel to The Shining there that came out with Ewan McGregor. There's, um, you know, the, the, the creatures or the beings in that movie that appear to be humans. Um, there's, there's aspects of that in this movie, I, I, I thought. It, it just made me think of, of that movie, which I can't remember the name of it, but it's a damn good horror movie. Um, but I really had fun with this one. It's from 2019. It's 100 Minutes. If you like sci-fi action movies, you don't care, you're not obsessed about acting. Oh, that acting's so bad. If you're going to get all uh, upset about the acting or the Asian characters not speaking great English or something like that, don't bother. But if you just want a fun, entertaining ride with some really interesting ideas, this is a great movie in the PMAX opinion. Oh, you got to... Put your glasses on. The acting is horrible in this movie. Two thumbs down. Go watch some stupid artsy fartsy movie that isn't entertaining. Um, it, it you know that, that's entertaining. I almost spilled my coffee because I thought there wasn't anything left in here. See what you made me do. Um, anywho, I did get some other stuff. This looked like kind of a uh, cool one. Mixed reviews though. It is Gwen on Blu-ray. Now, I, I didn't realize this, but RLJE, which it was RLJ, now it's RLJE Films, it appears releases the Shudder movies from the Shudder, I believe that's, that's the horror subscription service, right? And this is 84 minutes. Uh, the release was from 2019. Looks like the movie's from 2018. Um... It's got a nice slip cover, actually. It's it's kind of like a a matte slip cover. It's, it's actually like a, a I would say this is a really nice slippy dippy, and it looks like something like the witch sort of thing, you know, that kind of feel to it based on the the stuff on the back. And like I said, I read pretty mixed stuff. Like it's a slow one. It's probably not a super exciting movie. It's slow burn, but. I tend to like those. I tend to like the build-up, the... Um, it doesn't have to all be exciting. I want to care about the characters, so sometimes you need that slow build-up. But it looks like an interesting movie. I'll read the back of it. Gwen is a young girl whose life seems to be collapsing around her, struggling with her mother's mysterious illness, her father's absence, and a group of angry villagers threatening to take her farm. Gwen must find the strength to guide her family through the darkness. But as a malevolent presence begins to take grip of her home, it becomes apparent that there is a greater evil that may be too strong to overcome. I was going to make some jokes there, but people get offended. Um, so that, that looks like a good one to me. Another Scott Atkins one. This one, it looks like, only got a DVD. It is Avengement. Scott Atkins. This actually gets pretty good reviews. Um, so it says uh, he's like he's a prisoner. He's an inmate. And uh, let's see. While released on furlough from prison, a lowly criminal evades his guards and returns to his old haunts to take revenge on the people that made him a cold-hearted killer. It's an epic, bloody battle to search for the soul he lost years ago on the streets of an unforgiving city. Directed by Jesse Johnson. Hmm. Avengement. Got good reviews, actually, that one. And I like Scott Atkins' movies. I believe Avengement might have been six, five or six, and Gwen the same five or six. I think Gwen might have been five. I don't know. I can't remember. Up next, we got another schluppy duppy. It's Little Monsters from VVS Films. I wonder if we'll see this one at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Um, this one was also five or six bucks, um, but it sounded pretty interesting. I don't think it has a U.S. Blu-ray. I was looking into that, and I don't remember seeing that it had a U.S. Blu-ray. That might be why I got it. It says a teacher and a kid show personality team up to protect a group of young children from a sudden outbreak of zombies, starring Josh Gad and Lupita Nyong'o. Is that the girl from uh, 
what's it called? That uh, that movie, you know, that movie, that Us movie. It looks like the girl from Us. Huh. And Josh Gad looks kind of creepy in that. So I guess it's like a zombie movie. Okay. I was on the fence about it, but I decided to grab it. We did get some well-go movies that weren't released that long ago, I feel like. Um, we got Takashi Miike's First Love here on Blu-ray, only $5 from 2019, 109 minutes. Blu-ray DVD combo. Now, the weird thing is with this one, and I... Let's see if we can... I open this, and it's got some, like, weird-looking scratches on it, like, inside of the disc. Maybe maybe I can't see it in this lighting. Or maybe... Uh, I don't know. It had some... I'm trying to find them now, but it had some, like, very obvious, I thought, scratches. Maybe they were just a figment of my imagination. But I tried to kind of wipe at them, and I got some fingerprints on it, so I think maybe the fingerprints are covering up the scratches. Huh, that's strange. Anyway, that's very strange. P-Mac's going nuts? You already were nuts, P-Mac, according to... Whoa. According to the authority lovers, the people who love being told what to think and what to do. Um, up next, we have Fury, which is another apparently pretty recent well-go movie. Um, I think her kid, that this this woman's kid, gets kidnapped, and it, it's kind of like um, sounds to me kind of like Taken. When a, when a little girl is kidnapped by a trafficking ring, they soon find they messed with the wrong child. Her mother, a notorious former gang leader, is close on their trail and will go to any lengths to bring her daughter home, featuring a fantastic lead performance by Veronica Nagao. No, no, no. Um, apparently, she's in Star Wars The Last Jedi. Huh, that sounds like an interesting movie. That's a fun one. Me and Charmy might watch that one. Vietnamese, 98 minutes from 2019. Fury! Dollar Tree gets all these. P-Mac's gonna be furious. Um, and then I got another one from Wellgo. The Unity of Heroes. Which looks like a good time. Holy cow. From 2018, 104 minutes. A shipment of a narcotic more dangerous than opium is about to be distributed across the country by a corrupt pharmaceutical company. Pharmaceutical companies aren't corrupt. You take your Vax. It's good for you. Um, it's it's uh, j just trust just trust Big Pharma. Just just trust them. Um, in the face of foreign and domestic enemies, can Wong Fei Hung stop the spread of this dangerous drug and save lives in time? 104 minutes. Man, this looks like some good stuff. I think this might be, this has something to do with like the Once Upon a Time in China series, I think. Like it might be that character or something I thought I read. It doesn't say anything on the back there. And then you got an insert with some other well-go movies. Um, Ramp, Rampant, which was a Dollar Tree DVD. Triple Threat. Do I have that one? Triple Threat. I don't know. And then Iceman, the Time Traveler. I need that one. So, the, you know, these could end up at Dollar Tree, too. Who knows? But five bucks is good. Um, a Olive Blu-ray, The Atomic City. Decided to go ahead and snag that one up. I read something that made me interested in it. Um, has something to do with the... Uh, secrets behind the H bomb from 1952-85 minutes from Olive Films, and this one was another one that had some scratches on it. It was weird. It had, it looked like the disc was all, yeah. This one I can see the scratches. It had all little stuff all over it. I don't know. It was weird. 
And then a Shout Factory movie called Electra Glide in Blue. I believe this one was $8. Um, the movie's from 1973. The Blu-ray's from 2013. Starring Robert Blake. Uh, 113 minutes. The only thing good-hearted motorcycle cop John Wintergreen wants is to become a detective, to wear a big Stetson, smoky, fancy cigars, and be paid to think. So when he stumbles upon a dead body, he takes the case and proves he's got the right stuff. But as soon as he's promoted, he finds that the corruption he must tolerate makes his Stetson not fit so well and the cigars not taste so good. Forced to confront with his own disillusionment, Wintergreen heads out on his bike. The electric glide makes another shocking discovery that could cost him his life. You know, you always see these movies and there's corruption, whether it be in politics or the police or whatever. And there's a lot of truth in movies. Like, working in this... A, a lot of people don't work directly in the... This, this is what I get this sense. I've always worked in it, and I see how a lot of system... A lot of separate separate entities within the system work. So I see it firsthand what the issues are. And you just have orders passed down, passed down, passed down, passed down. So my, so like your direct supervisor is doing what their supervisor tells them. And their supervisor is doing what their supervisor t told them. And that person's supervisor is doing, and it goes up and up and up. So who actually makes the de decisions on anything? It's so many rings up from where you are. You're never going to meet the person making the decisions. So how do you trust the decisions being made? And then me at the end of it, I see the results of those decisions. And I see that it's obvious those decisions are creating stress for people, unhappiness for people, people to struggle in every way, whether it be financial, legal, um, substance abuse, mental health, these decisions are escalating all of those things, all of those problems. Those decisions don't make sense from a logical sense-making perspective. They do make sense from a perspective of that person way at the top wanting there to be stress and chaos at the bottom. So a lot of people think that they're just doing their best. Government's doing their best. People making the decisions are doing their best. It's just not working out. They're or they're, you know, they're stupid. They're making mistakes. They're um, they make bad decisions. They this and that. That that is the illusion. That is what they want. Cause and and then they'll you know they'll point out that this politician's corrupt. This person's corrupt. It doesn't work because these people are corrupt. But the issue is, it's not because they're corrupt. It's that the people making the decisions, who you don't even know who's making the decision, it's so many rings up from you, they want that chaos. They want those issues on the bottom. They're not trying to solve the problems. They're trying to create the problems and then offer you false solutions to the problem that just makes the problem worse. If you look at it from that perspective, it makes much more sense. But people get frustrated because they look at it the perspective of, why is it this way? This doesn't make any sense. Why are you making this decision? Why is it, why is it like this? The frustration a lot of times comes from the perception that the people making the decisions are just making dumb decisions and they're idiots and they need to change it and make the right decisions and, and come up with the proper solutions. Looking at it from that angle is more frustrating, more stressful, will make you more angry than the reality of it. The reality of it is that person that's many, many, many rings above you that you never meet, I understand that they're not trying to make a solution. They're trying to make the decisions that make things difficult for me. So when I accept that, I can then look at things from a perspective where 
I need to figure out my solutions myself. I need to understand that these challenges are never going to end. There's always going to be these roadblocks because they're there on purpose. So I accept the roadblocks and then it's just about me not fighting the roadblocks but saying, okay, this is the issue and then, okay, this is what I need to do about it. I need or I need to accept that this is the problem and this is what I... It's a lot. Le- it's actually a lot less stressful um, because I've accepted that these roadblocks are going to be there. I've accepted that these things are going to be made difficult for me on purpose, and I can't change that part of it. But what I can focus on is what I'm going to do about it, and that's really helped me in life a lot. To being able to do that, um, whereas I see. And as a counselor too, I see I talk to people firsthand about it. they're fighting. Why is it like this? Why is it like this? Why is it like this? This doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense from that perspective that you're taking. It's not supposed to make sense from a perspective of why would they do this? They're, you know, they're trying to help people. They're trying to make things a certain way. That is the wrong perspective. It, it, it's not the reality of it. The reality of it is that you're stressed, people are stressed in general because on purpose it's set up for you to be stressed. So what do you do about it? You accept it and you just deal with it and you understand that everybody's going through a lot of these stressors. I hope that makes sense and I know some people, whenever I talk about things like this, people get heated there's no reason to get heated. This I'm sharing my perspective and my my reality with you. If you disagree with it, you disagree with it. That's fine. You can be respectful about disagreeing with it. But I'll tell you, I've worked. Obviously, I've went to school. Um, I went to high school, went to college. I've worked in the medical field. I've worked in corrections. I've worked in the legal system. Um, I've seen how things operate. I, I, I've worked at Walmart for several years, so I've, I've seen the retail system. I've seen a lot of different system, so I'm able to observe a lot and put the pieces together. And, um, you know, so that that's just my perspective on it. That That's just how I kind of um, see things based on my experience. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the haul. Hopefully it was a good mix of haul and then hearing PMAC PMAX thoughts at the end, which, um, you know, some people really enjoy that portion where I'm sharing my thoughts. But as far as like the mainstreamy type of stuff, it turns a lot of people off from it. But it's something that I have to do because that's important to me. So I'm not going to stop sharing those sorts of perspectives, thoughts, um, observations, and things like that. It is very important to me whether it costs me subscribers or not. And I don't put stuff out there for people to be like offended by it. I, 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 w- I would like for people to consider it and, it, and actually think about it. Um, it does trigger people though. So it is what it is. But I hope you enjoyed. If you um, want to help out the channel, if you enjoy these videos, hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment and take a look in the description section for ways that you can help out PMAC Movies. I do very much appreciate it. And we will see you next time on PMAC Movies.